Hello, I'm here with Marcus Telkin. He is the technical lead for DevOps at Standard Bank in South Africa. Marcus, thank you so much for being here with me today. Awesome, thank you. Appreciate it. So tell me a little bit about what DevOps means to you. So to us, DevOps is about collaboration, um, teams working together to, to deliver high quality software into production that our customers can use. So building on that, can you give us some of the best practices you folks have learned at Standard Bank about how to implement DevOps, especially in a large organization? Sure, so, so what we found is, is really useful is kind of picking apart teams and, and then forming those people into functional teams where you've got a team with people from multiple disciplines. So you'll have an infrastructure person, you'll have a dev, you'll have a tester, and, and possibly a, someone that'll help take them through the whole process. Uh, yeah, so that's that's probably the easiest way to get things started and then also just picking the, the right tooling and things that are easy to use. So from an automation perspective, things like Chef, from a testing perspective, there's some really good open source initiatives for, for being able to create and, and, and build testing packs. Can you give me some tips for creating consistent environments across teams? to really enable collaboration and allow everyone to kind of see what they're working on at the same time, transparency across the different teams, working towards that chop-chop type experience. Cool. So, so what we did that we found worked really, really well, um, we, not that I want to say tooling is always the answer, but um, we were one of the early adopters of Chef Delivery, and what Chef Delivery gave us is, is consistent builds. So anytime someone did an update to, to a particular cookbook, or a t particular piece of code, that, that change was pushed through our whole environment safely, that everyone got the same change. And there were no sort of little pockets of teams working on different versions and, and doing their own thing. Got it, got it. So tell me a little bit about your role specifically at Standard Bank, and probably something that you're really excited about or what your latest project is now that's really got you fired up. Uh, yeah, so, so I was initially the, the technical lead for, for Chop Chop itself. And that sort of core team eventually formed into the automation team. So we, we look after all things um, automation. So a lot of the chef staff, we look after automated provisioning. Uh, I would have to say the project I'm probably most excited about that we want to share with the community is we have a project called uh, Demon Cat. Um, mm -hmm. Anyone who watches Adventure Time will get the reference. And what we actually do is we, we track um, pipeline maturity. So what we want to do is we want to get to a stage where if, if a particular application or deployment pipeline has the right level of maturity, so it's got automated tests, it's got resilience, it's got HA, the idea is we actually want to try and strip out all, all the governance and all mm. the things that normally trip people up in order to, to get into production. So that's probably our biggest focus at the moment is, is working on a pipeline maturity model that we can automatically measure and then kind of reward mature teams with less governance and Punish. And allow them to do things chop chop. Exactly. Well, Marcus, thank you so much for taking the time. Really appreciate it. You folks at Standard Bank are doing some phenomenal work, and we really appreciate you being part of the Chef community. Awesome. Thank you for having us.